Welcome. Happy Monday, everybody. In this video, I'm going to tell you what you need to be thinking about when you're in your medical exam at a consulate abroad. Medical doctors, those who do your exam, they are not your friends. In fact, they are an extension of the interviewer who does your immigrant visa or non-immigrant visa interview. And you need to treat them as such. Um, there have been many cases that I've seen, particularly during the Trump era, and I'm not sure that you know it's going away, uh, where the medical doctors doing the interviews are quite pushy. You know, they're looking for ways to disqualify you from getting into the United States. Treat it as what it is, and let's see. Let's watch this video from I think last Thursday. Uh, and figure out what are some what are some strategies we can take out of it uh, for when you do your medical exam. If that sounds good, I'll see you on the other side of the bump. Welcome to Law Great. My name is Damien Noble. This is the channel where we give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes on your immigration journey. If you like this channel, if you've seen a few of our videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit that blue bell that notifies you when we put up videos because I'm trying to put up videos every day. In fact, this video is number 11 in the streak where every workday I'm putting up a video. Monday, Tuesday, I explain the videos from Thursday, Friday. On Wednesday, I'm going to do a tip video or a sketch. And on Thursday, Friday, I'm going to do sketches that illustrate something, a particular tip uh, that, uh, you know, you can take with you on your immigration journey. OK, so Monday, Tuesday, we review those skip videos. Wednesday, we do kind of like a top five tips on a particular topic. And again, Thursday, Friday, we do some sort of skit. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right. So here is this video that we did. This is the immigrant visa NVC exam. I'm just uh, I'm going to kind of play it in the background. OK, I'm going to play it in the background. And uh, here, you know, there's two characters. There's this uh, this joker here in the, in, the, in the glasses who's who's the medical doctor. And then this here, um, the other person is the interviewee. And essentially what's happening here is that the interviewee, the person uh, receiving the medical exam and really the medical interview is a representation of what I think a good uh, interviewee is like in the situation. By contrast, this doctor is pretty much an example of kind of kind of like your uh, uh, pushy doctor, pushy medical examiner uh, that might be trying to get you to say something that's really not good for your case. OK, um, and in particular, what this video is illustrating is the habitual drunkard question, right? So the habitual drunkard uh, set of questions uh, is often uh, really pushed for people who might have a prior drinking history. So uh, let's say somebody just did a 601A waiver and they're going to a consulate interview for their immigrant visa, but they have a couple of DUIs um, in their background. What the medical examiner is going to be checking for is whether they're still uh, drinking that's going on because there's a prior history of drinking. And if the medical examiner can get from the interviewee that they're still drinking, well, then they might be able to say, hey, actually, you're a habitual drunkard. You've habitually been drinking. Not only do you have these DUIs in the past, but you now are still drinking, which means you haven't worked to cure it. And in that situation where the habitual drunkard uh, you know, category is a, is a real risk of uh, preventing your admissibility, it's really important, number one, that you know you, you, you do the rehab work, you go the rehabilitation, and really that you stop drinking. And then number two, to be able to stick to a clear no, hey, I don't drink now. I you know I don't go out and party and then and then drive. I don't do any of those things. Because what happens in the interview is that the medical examiner is really going to push you on all aspects of, of your possible drinking. And what I have the interviewee doing in this video is giving clear no's, 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 no's. The broader point here that you can take from this video is that it's very important, even during the medical exam, to keep a formality, okay? Um, 
I want you to dress as if it is an extension of the interview. So the interviewee here, uh, please notice, right? So we're gonna we're gonna get there. We got the doctor. You know, he's dressed in a button-down shirt, pants. Okay. There's a there's a certain dignity that you can project in your dress. Uh, there's a certain dignity that you can project project in your grooming, and that's reflected here. And number two, just being very clear. Hey, no, no, I don't drink. No, I never drink. And being consistent. There are going to be answers where you should answer yes, and just very clearly saying yes, no, yes, no. What you should never do is dawdle. The medical examiner has the discretion to write notes in your file. They have uh, the discretion to make those notes about anything, really. It could be a perception, right? So uh, it can be an affect. An affect is what the medical community notes uh, about how somebody presents themselves. Maybe about, uh, maybe they have something weird, some sort of tick right, that might indicate a, a broader problem. So you wanna come in looking dignified and you wanna give clear yes, no answers, okay? And that's really what this video is about. Now, what's interesting here, of course, is how pushy the doctor is. And a lot of people have a question, like, are the doctors actually that pushy? Look, no doctor hopefully is going to be, you, you know, as brazen as, as this one is. But I, I did have a case uh, two years ago of somebody that went to the Juarez consulate where the doctor really did repeat the habitual drunkard question you know, at least a good half dozen times uh, according to my client and that was a case where we had a DUI in the background that's what directly influenced the sketch anyhow I hope this is helpful if you didn't see the sketch I encourage you to go see it it seems like it's been very popular with viewers give it a thumbs up okay if you like that and you like this then then subscribe because that really helps our channel and finally, if you like this series of videos, leave us a comment that helps the algorithm and share so other people can see it. We're just trying to give you reliable information to make your decisions better and less costly as you move forward on your immigration journey.